Hi, I'm Neil deGrasse Tyson. I'm an astrophysicist with the American Museum of Natural History, and I'm host of Star Talk Radio. Welcome back to Star Talk Radio. <laughs> and it's fighting all these air molecules. Like, what's up with that? We win. Astrophysicists win. Oh! Yeah, I said it. Snap! Bada bing! Wow, 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 wow! I'm getting it! If you ask the question, how would human life do on the various planets? So let's do a lightning round, ready? Right, let's start in the middle of the solar system. Let's start with the sun. You would vaporize, all right? So that's, that's really fast right there. Not a good place to visit. Although I'm told if you go at night, uh, <laughs> old astronomy joke. <laughs> First planet out, uh, Mercury. The side that faces the sun is very hot. There's another side that does not face the sun. That's really cold. So if you straddle that zone, it'd be like, and you rotated like in a rotisserie chicken, then you would have variously cold and warm sides of you. You might be able to get just the right temperature. You would survive as long as it, you could hold your breath, a few minutes. Next out, Venus, 900 degrees Fahrenheit. It is hotter than a pizza oven. That's hot. Oh, by the way, Venus has about the same gravity as Earth, so you'd be very familiar walking around until you vaporized. Next one, Earth, you don't have to hold your breath there and you're good for 80 years. What's next? Mars? Uh, Mars is very cold, but the air is very thin, so the intensity of the cold will not be as biting as it might otherwise feel at that temperature on Earth. It's hundreds of degrees below zero. But if you put on some insulating clothing, you could walk around holding your breath. Uh, after Mars, you have the asteroid belt. If you ran too hard, you'd go into orbit. So you can't play games on asteroids. It doesn't work. Gravity's too low. After asteroids, you get to Jupiter. No surface to land on. You will descend forever into the gaseous atmosphere until you're crushed by the pressure of the planet's layers. Uh, next is Saturn. Same answer. You'll descend down to the center. Uh, you'll be crushed by the atmosphere as the atmospheric pressure continued to grow. Saturn's rings, which looks like really solid objects. I mean, I have, you know, model of Saturn behind me, look, you can like walk around on it. On the real Saturn, it's particles, frozen water, possibly ammonia, rock, and it forms a ring because the, what we call the gravitational dynamics favors a ring under those conditions. In fact, there's many rings. There's the A ring, the B ring, the C ring, the D ring. And so it's very thin and you can't just walk around on it. And uh, Uranus and Neptune, also gas planets. Yeah, so no, forget about it. <laughs> Stay here on Earth. Well, you, you can live the longest on Earth. 65 million years ago, the dinosaurs had a very bad day.